Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm here from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So we're back taking another look at the current state of the LSG server. Of course, we're running the Sivirus system, so we've got the Earthlight planet and the moon. Players have a chance of building on both, but not actually building out in space, so they can actually find each other and kill each other. So what is actually happening? Let's have a look at some of the factions. So we're over at the DBS moon base. They built themselves another little facility up here. You can see they've got some printing systems online. They've got themselves a selection of ships operational up here, ready to fend off any DRF attacks. They've also got this really long sort of disco turret on a stick. Cool concept until the bit underneath gets shot out. And they've also came up to the moon with their cross X kind of ship. Very cool indeed. You can see it looks like they're refitting it with some of the new DLC thrusters. Very cool indeed. A really nice looking ship, especially with some of these new DLC textures running on it. Anyway, let's jump through. We've got a lot to see. I feel like it's like a tour of Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, this. All the amazing and wonderful things so we're going to go back over to the dash base so as you can see we saw this guy a little bit before not too much has changed here they've worked on some more fortifications they have moved some ships around they've extended these little men like towers that defend the perimeter and draw the fire of turrets giving them a little bit of early warning so to say and you can see over here as well they've got some turret station there but we've seen the majority of this you can see They've got some damage possibly taken to the top of the structure, and it looks like they're missing a few more of the ships. But if we plunge into this area, you can see there's a little bit of storage and production going on down here, as well as a few smaller fighters. So let's quickly jump through some of the blocks. I'm going to use this menu as quick as I can, just so we can have a quick flick through, make sure we haven't missed anything else. So that's DBS on the moon that we visited. Now let's have a look. That's a DBS wreck by the look of it um, on the moon. There's more DBS there. I'm not seeing too much DBS on the planet at the moment, but maybe I missed something. Maybe something will be later on the list. We've got the new moon base. We've also got the old one that got shot up. That's directly below me now. So let's go through the no zone. Let's go ONI. Let's see how ONI have been doing down on the planet's surface. So let's grab ourselves a little bit of lighting here. If we can rotate that around. Perfect. So ONI's base has continued developing a little bit further. They've got themselves some more cutaways by the look of it and the start of another one of these larger ships. I can only guess from the purple that's going to be one of Nano's. You can see by the tunnel system we've extended a little bit further. Some of this stuff was it has already existed in the previous tour. We had a look through their long bunker system that weaved up into the mountain range with all their hangars. Some other vehicles taking shape in here. Not completely full of ships and the fighters that were up here have gone you can see that there's this lower storage area for some ships so really cool nice little construction there if we pop ourselves up into this area as well you can see a little turret defense oh and i are definitely working on their base and improving it i wonder if they're going to plan on getting into space so let's go back to our entity list and continue looking so we've got the large miner that we've checked out we've got the out faction i've not heard of these guys oh this is this is wizard and his crew so for the guys who are wondering what um wizard was up to this one he's testing out his new wheels mod so you can see what we've got going on here is two rovers i believe they're a small faction of four or five lake house i think exotics in it i'm, I'm rubbish with names i'm going to miss people out so i better not to say them but they've been working on these cool little rover transports that are basically mobile bases and their challenge for this server season was to see if they could survive on a standard earth like planet with rovers and just deal with the difficult terrain and with the new wheel setting upgrades that we've been doing it's, it seems pretty Pretty capable you can see from these rovers that we've got it's a real cool system inside let's just go through here quickly cargo supplies rear hangar bay everything that you need to survive and i believe these are they're quite similar to each other slight differences um this is the the whole the, the holes one you see this one's a little bit more opened up and i believe this one is actually the one wizards operating from and he's got himself a lowering system so he can lower this drill head into the ground and get out resources it's, it's a little bit complicated and sometimes it can be a bit worrying in clang but being confident in the players and knowing that they're doing the right thing uh, or hoping they're doing the right thing is uh, it's all part of the deal but you can see as it lowers down it welds up a new little head and as it retracts it back up, it uses the magnets of the connectors to pull it back up. It might be worth having a look at that in the future anyway. Let's continue on. So we've seen the out faction now. We'll try not to go too fast down the list. It's very easy to miss things on this server. TGO looks like a small starter base. We have got some base bits that don't look like they've come too far. 
So this is the one with the acrylic lettering. You can see they're using the new color scheme. They're very Tron-like. The only issue with it I see with these blocks is they, they just disappear from a distance. You don't see the detail. But once you get up close, they start to glow. Very nice indeed. And you've got their little outpost tucked into the Rocky Mountain. It looks like they're digging things out here. And if we go a bit further down, they're working on one of these projects. That I, I personally think these projects, when you build a ship underground, yes, it's safe. But the chance of you getting it out by the end of the season requires so much effort and mining to bring that ship to the surface. But if they do it, 10 out of 10. Let's keep going. So we're looking to jump to one of the guys just after the acrylic writing. So we've gone past the no zone. We'll try not to go too far. We've gone past the out. Let's have a quick look at QIC. See if there's anything worth looking at there. So that's a, looks like a small base. You can see some sort of ship taking shape there. Um, the Sparrow looks like a wreck. There's going to be lots of wrecks. SGC's base. How is this doing? Looks like a lot of wrecks I'm clicking through here. Uh, TG TGC have a small thing connected up here. Let's have a look at um, TGC and see what they've been working on. So they've got themselves a base that's expanding out on the ice lake. I actually remember attacking this with some DR, DRF drones. They've got these big hangar doors, and I don't think they locked the door properly, because when I pushed a drone against it, it kind of pushed it open. It's looking a lot more empty in here as well. There is a few ships that they've been working on, so it's very likely that they could have moved into space or maybe lost one or two in a battle. So we've got a few ships parked out there. We've got the printing system over there, quite a common system indeed. And then we've got another area here. This looks like where they've been trying to core something out with the drill, trying to collect ice. It's, it's not too much of a, a bad system, this. It just takes some time collecting that ice when you need it. There's a little uh, lounge up top. You've got another bunker taking shape down here with more holes and access ways. Very, very cool indeed. And a big tunnel that leads down to the bottom cool features lots of hangars little ships that are being docked in here hopefully they get a chance to fight with everything down here the more things you bury underground when you come under attack the harder it is to get it out and into action also look at all these turrets they've got up here these little emplacements cool little concept they've got like a turret wall up at the top as well let's continue on so jumping back to our entity list that we're already on our what we're searching for uh, we're going to scroll down the list ever so slightly and go a little bit further so we've checked out them guys. Let's have a look at ADI. So ADI didn't don't really look like they've developed much further from quick glance from the last episode. Let's have a look at BDI. So BDI look like they're on fire. This ain't particularly good. So yeah, they've come under attack by the look of it. I don't know if it's drone antics that are causing some of this, but some of the ships are damaged. Um, we've got some more damage going on in this area. Some repairs definitely need to be made here. But still, the base looks like it's surviving onwards, especially in this little valley, not making a big footprint for themselves. That's a, probably quite a smart idea. It does look like some things may have broken, though. We'll have to have a quick look at this base after the video and make sure everything's running smoothly. Let's go in here, actually. Let's have a quick look inside their hangar bay. Simple hangar bay, multiple club landing strip. And, of course, they've got the sign there, as usual. And the big moon is right above them. So, let's continue working our way through the list. So CSR, CSR really haven't changed too much. If I just jump up, you can have a quick look at what they've got going on here. They've got that drilling rover that's still roaming around, the small outpost type base. It's, it must be a, maybe a solo or maybe one or two man crew this because it doesn't look like it's changed much at all from the previous one. Let's uh, keep ourselves going. DBS, that is DBS's moon base that we've had a look at right at the start of the video. A few of the DBS units. Oh, hang on. Is this is this DBS one on the ground? Yeah, this is back at the DBS main base. So DBS are covering a lot of ground. They've got a lot of units. I know they've got quite a few players. Hopefully, they'll be able to man all this stuff. They've got turrets down here. You know, usually, sometimes when people go up to the moon and stuff, they abandon their Earth-type projects. And this place doesn't look abandoned at all. They've got a lot of turrets, a lot of defenses, and a lot of systems still down here, including their Earth printer as well fighters on stands and they've got the big x ship down here as well so they've got two of them guys flying around very interesting indeed let's continue on then so going back through this area let's have a look at uh, should we have a quick look at tgc do we see much of them not seeing much but wrecks and small ships oh yes we did see tgc tvk let's see what tvk are doing so TVK have got themselves a small type hangar base mounted in the side of the cliff. I'm looking at it upside down. That was what was weird about it. 
with a purple ship out front. Another one of these smaller outposts remaining low profile, vehicles tucked in the side. Very cool indeed, and it looks like they're trying to extend out to the back and build some sort of production down to the side. Some fighters locked to the top. Another cool little example of a small outpost on the server. So let's keep going. So jumping through the list, let's try not to miss anyone. We've checked them out. Uh, they're the, the, wind, the miners, the fighters. We've got N. So let's see what they've been working on. Oh, so this, this is a sub-faction with inside this. This is what, when it comes to naming grids, you need to name them a little bit better so we know where we're going in these tours. So having a look at N, we've got the second platform, a few smaller bases being constructed here. That's a, a shaft light base. I'm not, I'm not seeing too much of these guys. Let's actually take a, let's dive into this little project here. So they've got um, most like maybe some explosions or mining's gone off at the front there. They've got a welder on that side, and then they've got a shaft that drops down. Looks very cool. And then they've got some various doors with, I'm guessing, little offices for the different players. And they've got a projector station with the logo in there. It looks like they're trying to build on a quite a big project here. It's a very cool layout, though, for a base and outpost. Airlock goes through here. Looks like there's some production and storage going on down here. Really cool idea for a base. Let's continue on though. So we're gonna go through as fast as we can without missing anyone. DPA, oh, we've, I think we've not missed them out. EMD, let's have a quick look. I'm trying not to visit the same place again by mistake. Let's have a look at this one. So EMD, yeah, they're, they've got this smaller outpost that they've extended into this area. This is another small one or two man faction. Looks like they're making use of some of the new textures on the blocks as well. Very cool little base, quite simple layout. It looks like there's a lot of expansion going on in here at the moment as well. Let's pop ourselves back outside. Everyone gets an amazing view of that moon that's really close to the planet. So let's drop down a bit further um, and let's try to pick up the speed as we go down. So we have BDI that we've, we've taken a quick look at. We've got the BHA, we've got a few of their blocks just laying around. Looks like they've been damaged, maybe destroyed. Um, we've got some more DBS stuff that we've checked out already. We're looking for faction names. Of course, you're probably wondering what's happening to the DRF control zone around the planet. Obviously, some of the satellites have been damaged and taken out. Um, it's always quite fun to see them raided, give the players something to do. But if we come to the actual control zone itself, yes, there has been some damage done to some of the areas. But these guys are constantly keeping this area protected for us. It looks like one of these satellites is actually still shooting. But yeah, someone had a, had a little run at it. I'm not too sure. I think it was DBS. Uh, they tried to take the fight here and try to take the sector over. But it is a lot of firepower, a lot of turrets. But if they do get that, there's going to be a lot of resources for them. And I think us as admins will benefit them as well. Let's uh, keep jumping on. Let's go past the DRF control zone. Oh, we've not checked out KOL this time. Let's see exactly what KOL are up to. So KOL have got themselves a tiny little moon base with a ship park there as well. And they've got the hangar in this section with the production. A nice compact base. A bit worried though because it looks like the power is actually off on this place. Like it's run out of batteries. Maybe they haven't visited the moon base in some time. So going past the DRF stuff, we have the HOR. So let's have a look. HOR looks like they've taken some damage as well. There's some damage bots going on here. Looks like maybe this is just a crashed ship. What happened here? Oh, so this has been shot up and, and just crashed and left to wreck. Like the stories that some of these wrecks could tell and the, the players explain on the server, sadly I can't be there to catch all the action. So sometimes you find yourself just coming across a, a bit of a base or some scrap. This is quite a cool little outpost as well. Loads of cool little locations people work on. IDK seems to have a lot, a lot of mini bases, some small rovers. IMS, let's have a quick look at IMS and see what they're doing. So it looks like they're working on some more of these larger ships. They've, they've laid out these ones on this ice. Like, I'm not too sure if these guys have moved. I don't remember them being in this position. Is everything movable of theirs? Let's have a quick look. Unless they've just rebuilt that into another location. But well, still really cool. They've got that massive round printer design up at the top. They've got this sort of fuel bay. And they've got this ship that's taking shape. Yet to know if they'll go into space. Who knows? You'll have to let me know if you're part of IMS. What's your next plan? Are you going into space? You probably don't want to give it away. Um, in case the other factions look below as well. So as we continue going, we go past the DRF control room. Let's have a look at Fed. Now, I know Fed usually have quite a build-up of equipment and gear. 
Well, on this, in this case, it's looking like they've got quite a small little base. Oh, there we go. Everything's rendered in. You have a small little structure. Not really going too far. It looks like it's not really developed much from the last video. So maybe they've popped on, built a bit. Let's keep going. So as we go a little bit further, we've got Skynet, apparently. SGC. I'm just trying to see if there's any factions that we wouldn't, we wouldn't have seen. UAC. Let's have a look what they're up to. Okay, so they the UAC are the ones with the shaft type base that we've already looked at. So a further note to all players playing on the server, please try your best to name your grids with your faction name in front of you. It really does help when I'm prowling through all your stuff. So SWI, let's go and have a look at what SWI have got them going here. It's like a little mobile base that they've got clipped to a hill. Let's see. Oh, Keen, you know what you can do to make it even better is a search function with a little question, you know, a little thing that I can type in and look for an individual grid for people on this menu. That would be absolutely amazing. WMD. Let's have a look at what's going on there. So another small faction base just hanging out over the edge of the cliff there. Let's have a quick look what the access areas are inside. Okay, so that's it. That's all they've managed to construct in this shaft that drops down into this lower section. Little corridors, some production, very nice. A lot of smaller factions on this server. I'm liking the idea of this. It means that there's a lot more dynamic when it comes to combat and control as well as trading. So I think we've seen everyone, unless we've missed anyone out. I'm just having a quick flick through. WMC, they've got themselves a moon base established by looking at a large ship on the top. A really wobbly looking solar panel, a bit worrying. Them hinge and rotor combos. That is a dangerous one right there. Well, that has been a quick tour of the server. I tried to cover as much as I could and maybe even cover some of the smaller bases that don't get as much of a feature. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Let me know which was the favourite outpost ship that you saw in this video. Drop it in the comment section below and I will see you next time. And if you're interested in joining, there's also a link in the description where you can check out our Discord. All the information is right at the top and I will see you next time.